Tokyo, judo fighter Teddy Rinner lost in the Olympic quarter-final to the top-ranked judo athlete in their class in the world, and it was considered one of the biggest upsets in the history of his sport. That says a lot about the legacy that the French athlete, a 6'8 two-time gold medalist known as Big Ted, has built over his decade of absolute domination. A loss in 2020 to a Japanese fighter now nicknamed the King Slayer, ended Reiner's 154 straight fight winning streak. Tamerlan Bashaev, a scrappy Russian nearly a foot shorter than Rinner, was ranked higher going into the fight today after competing more regularly in recent months. The two competed in the heaviest weight class, over 100 kilograms. Neither judoka was able to decisively throw their opponent and end it, judo's equivalent of a knockout punch called an ippon. In overtime, Bashayev won by Wazarari, meaning he landed a move that wasn't clean and powerful enough to be an Ippon. Rinna, 32, looked surprised and walked by reporters without taking questions. No loss can change the rock star status he has in his sport, and accomplishments that almost no modern judo fighter has ever matched. Perhaps even more notable than the shock of the quarter-final was the way Rinna roared back. At the end of the night, he walked away with a bronze. This was his fourth consecutive Olympics to medal. I'm over the moon. It's been a day that went well. I would have liked it to end differently, but in the end I won a bronze medal. I'm very proud, he said. Rinna, who was born on the island of Guadeloupe and grew up in Paris, has said that he tried a lot of sports growing up, but ultimately picked judo because he liked only needing to rely on himself. He said the preparation for these games was difficult, between the postponement due to COVID-19 and an injury. I've learned a lot, he added. For people knowledgeable about judo, Rinna is seen as almost superhuman. He's also the only judoka, male or female, to ever win 10 world championships. His thing is not to enter the pantheon but to destroy the door with a ram and to sit on the throne of eternity, the International Judo Federation said ahead of Friday's competition. Rinna is part of that cast of gifted elect who walk on water as if it was something normal, it added. Rinna is not Everest but the entire Himalayan range. Winning against him would be, without a doubt, one of the greatest feats of all time. This is not the expected result, but there is an Olympic medal to go for, Rinna tweeted after his loss to the Russian. He then faced Brazilian Rafael Silva and struck quickly and explosively. He flipped Silva, a two-time Olympic bronze medalist who is as tall as he is, onto his back and used his knee to pin him down by the neck. The whole thing was over in 45 seconds. This is a hard competition. I knew I would have a hard time with Rinna, Silva said after the fight. 